Hey there, this is Dave Duford again. Today we're talking about door knocking. How do you door knock direct mail and telemarketing leads? Door knocking is the easiest way for a new agent to get involved in the prospecting process. And so what we're going to talk about is how do you door knock efficiently? What do you need to say at the door? How do you need to handle yourself? And kind of some general rules of thumb. So door knocking is <clears throat> like I said, the easiest way for brand new agents to get out there and truthfully, I highly recommend brand new agents to actively door knock over appointment set. Why? Because first of all, using the phone to set appointments is a skill set that takes time to generate and develop and is totally different from approaching someone face to face. If you interact with somebody face to face, generally the person at the door is not going to be a jerk more often than not than they would be on the phone and you get to show them the lead piece that they sent in which will helpfully engender them towards you to let you in the door to give your presentation. Uh, and it's just the rejection factor is not as high as it would be calling over the phone. So it gives you the opportunity to see more people which is what this business is all about. So how do you actually door knock with efficiency? Well so first of all I'm going to give you some personal tips. Again a lot of agents have their own way to door knock I'm going to show you my way, my whole strategy in this business is to be forthright, non-confrontational, easygoing. So that's how I approach the door knocking perspective. So when I go up to the door, I walk right up to it. If I, when I get there and I park my car and I'm at a house, I always leave my car running and I keep the door open. That signals to the person in the house, I'm just here briefly. I'm not here to park, close the door, walk up, you know, I'm planning to be here a long time. I leave my big book of supplies in my car and just bring a clipboard. That again signals I'm not here bringing a bunch of crap in to possibly sell them something. Again, I want them disarmed if they're peeking through the window looking for me when I approach and they answer the door. Again, I don't want them to think that I'm there to do something long and involved and time consuming. I just want them to answer the freaking door. Okay, So I want to make it as easy as possible. When I get to the door and I door knock, my knock, I knock about probably seven to ten times firmly. Knock, 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 like that. I don't do a little wussy knock. I knock hard and firm and I let them know that they're there. I very rarely use the doorbell because the doorbell is what strangers use. Friends door knock. Some old saying that kind of stuck with me so that's what I use. But if you door knock firmly and you do it rapidly and enough times, that will get people's attention and enough urgency to answer the door. Okay, So when I'm at the door, I always take two steps back. And the reason I do that is I'm six foot tall. I'm a large guy. I don't want to intimidate any little women. Okay, Most of the people we see are females and they're smaller than I am. So I want to make an effort to disarm them and to be nice to them. So, or at least appear that way when they answer the door. So when they peek through the door, you can kind of notice if you ever look through a peek hole, there's light and then when somebody looks it turns black because they move their head in front of it. I'm going to make sure I'm waving at them or if they peek out the window over there, I'm going to wave at them. Again, to let them know I see you in there, you should just answer the door and not hide from me. So when I do that um, and they answer the door, here's basically what I say. I say, hey, is this Mrs. Jones? Yeah, I'm Mrs. Jones. Hey, Mrs. Jones, my name is Dave Duford. I'm here about this card that you sent in. You can see that you signed it off, right? Okay, let me hand it to you and take a look at it. So the reason most people send this card in is because they're looking for some kind of information on final expense programs to take care of their burial or cremation expense. I was in the area, I had an appointment up the road, just figured I could stop by for five minutes just to deliver the information you requested. Would that be okay? That's it. That's all I say. Half the time they've already got the door open waiting for me to come in. Again, it's hard to imagine me being 30 years old, don't really like solicitors or salespeople. I'm always skeptical. A lot of these older people in their 60s and 70s, especially if you go out to the rural areas, they're waiting for you to come in. You know, So it's a lot easier to do that, uh, to get in the door. The kind of objections you'll get at the door are basically, I'm busy, I'm just about to walk out, I'm cooking, or blah, blah, blah. The thing you want to emphasize first, your goal is always to get in the door immediately. Don't set an appointment if you can help it. 
So if I get somebody who says, I'm really busy, we're eating right now, the, the thing you need to tell them is this. I say, hey, listen, all I need is five minutes. You know, if you're eating, you eat, I'll talk. Sound good? Or, you know, I'll do the quick version, takes five minutes, and then I'll be gone, I promise. Is that okay with you? So just rebuttal it back like that. If they give you another objection at that point, or if they want more information, you know, again, just close briefly saying, hey, listen, you know, uh, as far as prices go, it depends, but if you give me five minutes, I'll definitely be able to tell you that. Can I come in and show you? Again, just make it quick and to the point and ask again to come in the show and deliver the presentation. If they just don't want to do it, or if they're sincerely busy and there's no way you can get in, the second step is to set the appointment for the following day or for the same day later in the evening or later on in the day. So always try that after you try one more time to get in the door. Again, that in initial objection is usually a knee-jerk thing, which means that it's not really anything. It's just kind of a knee-jerk reaction. So always rebuttal that. And once you get another objection to get the real objection, then go ahead and try to set the appointment. A, a, a great way to get in the door and make it more efficient is to tell them you're just here for today or you're just I'm just here for tomorrow. You know, can we meet tomorrow? Put some urgency on it. Then I'm gone. I'm not coming back. You know, so that they will make time for five minutes. Everybody's got five minutes, so they got to make time if they're sincerely interested. Um, a couple other things here. Um, the most important aspect to door knocking is how you say things and how you hold yourself. If you're kind of shouldered like this, if you're shuffling around, your eyes are at the ground, you're not you're talking and mumbling like this, if you seem kind of squirrely, you're not going to get in the door. The best thing you can do for door knocking is look them right in the eyes, smile at them, try to make them laugh a little bit, and just be yourself. Stand up tall, shake their hand if, if you have the opportunity and they, they pull theirs out to do that. But the thing with door knocking is to make eye contact and to smile. And just be yourself. Don't be afraid. Don't, you know, cower. Don't look suspicious. You know, just be relaxed. And that will transfer over to the person behind the door. That is what they're looking for in those first five seconds. Is this guy somebody I can size up and feel as if he's somebody who is not going to come rip me off or rob me or worse? That's what you have to convey. And really to convey that is more than what you say. It's how you say it and how you hold yourself. So as far as door knocking goes, uh, there's plenty of agents that door knock exclusively with continued ongoing success. I know agents that make 200,000 a year plus simply taking 20 or 30 leads a week and door knocking them. It's an efficient way to work it. Some days you'll get in the door, some days you won't. But that's how telemarketing or setting appointments over the phone works as well. It's a method that works. And for me personally, at my stage as a life or final expense agent, I like the door knock between preset appointments because it keeps me focused. It keeps me out there and working the leads, uh, the ones that don't pick the phone up, whereas I call the ones that are picking the phone up and set the appointments with them. That's how I keep efficient at door knocking. But really, as a beginning agent, the best way to yield the most return out of your investment in your leads is to simply just show up, ask for the appointment, and come right in and sell. If you have any other questions about door knocking or any strategies to get in the door, feel free to leave some comments below or visit my website at feagentmentor.com. And my name again is Dave Duford, and I want to thank you for viewing this video. Take care.